You know what I really can't stand? Is when I'm exporting photos and it's multiple sizes, multiple files that I gotta export all at once. I hate spending the extra time exporting. Luckily there's a solution to that I'm gonna tell you in this video. Stay tuned. Welcome to another video guys. Um, in case you've been wondering, I've been doing uh, daily videos uh, almost every day uh, of my life coming back as a photographer after taking a year long break from professional photography. And uh, in case you want to watch those, uh, please subscribe and check those out. And if you want to see any more of those videos or videos like this. Anyway, done with the plug. We're going to talk about something that I've talked about before with you guys, and it's called JPEG Mini Pro. And I know in the last video, everyone said, Nick, you're pushing this, you're getting paid to say this. My response to that is, if I was getting paid for this, you would know, trust me, I would tell you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm not, and I just, I love this product, and uh, they're kind enough to send me a exclusive beta version of this uh, to try out, and um, yeah, so we're gonna go and give ahead, go ahead and see what they have. This is the JPEG Mini 2.0, so, this is the newest, latest, and greatest from JPEG Mini. And they have a feature that I really love. There's some features that you might like. Um, so we're gonna go through those. There's probably about three basic features that they've upgraded on top of what JPEG Mini Pro offers. So JPEG Mini 2.0 offers three things. One is they offer up to 128 megapixels of exports now, opposed to 60. I believe was the last one. So all those Hasselblad medium format guys out there, you're in luck because now they support up to 128 megapixels. That's cool. I have a 36 megapixel. I'm not really worried about that. So, you know, cool, cool feature. I'm not going to be using it. The second feature is uh, the ability to have long edge, short edge, maximum width, minimum width, all that stuff. Lightroom offers that, but now they offer it in JPEG Mini Pro, which is cool. But the third feature is the feature that I really, 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 really like. And it is the ability to export multiple sizes at once from one photo file with just one click. And that's really the feature I'm gonna really go hard at and uh, uh, I'm very excited about because I do that a lot. I have a lot of photos that have, um, you know, that need to be exported in multiple sizes. You might want a full res, you might want one with the 1200 uh, pixels, 600, 300. There's a lot because I do some website work and that's a common theme in the website world, with, especially with e-commerce, they want multiple sizes. So I have to spend my time doing that manually, not anymore with JPEG Mini. So I'm gonna show you how that works and among other things, and my thoughts, what I like and what I don't like. So I'm gonna really go talk about uh, a feature that I'm very excited about and that is the resize uh, multiple options as you can see here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, create a destination. Uh, let's do desktop, test, okay, test, open. Now this is where it gets cool. Um, as you can see, let's exit that out. Um, it'll be exported to test. We'll get the original size that the photo came out at, but we also have the option to add that and maybe make a long edge, um, max long edge. I wanna make it 2048 for social media. That's perfect. And I can also do one, let's say I wanna do one for Instagram. Max long edge 1200. Okay, cool. So I can export three photos at once in different dimensions. Excuse me, we can export one photo in three different dimensions at once. We're going to click apply. Okay, and we're going to drag that same photo and let's make let it see and let it run real quick. Okay, it looks like it's complete. We're gonna go to desktop and find that test folder. Where's that test folder? Come on. All right. Look at that right there. See, we got the original file. We have 2048 and it's labeled. And we also have 1200 for Instagram. It is that easy. And of course, I'll let I'll go through these one more time. As you can see, we have max short edge, max long edge, max height, max width. 
and it even has some preset stuff for you all along with uh, the original size. The only downside to JPEG Mini and this uh, this new feature is it's not um, available in Photoshop plugin or Lightroom plugin. I have told them about that and they're all working on it now. So if you have anything you want to tell them, just send them feedback and they'll be happy to help you out. Alright guys, well that about does it. You know, there's some pros and there are some cons that I've talked to them before about. You can talk to them too about. Well, they're very responsive. It's a small knit group of guys. So if you have any feedback, please send them. They, they always love feedback, um, whether it's from me or you. Um, they're always looking to improve their product, which makes that product even better. So yeah, um, if you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, please like, leave a comment of your thoughts. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or, or my daily videos. Um, yeah, that, that was about those guys. I hope you guys enjoy your day. And until next time, guys, take care. I'll see you later.